Hello and welcome to tutorial one from Only Luck. Uh, this uh, tutorial is just going to be a quick one on XNA and Visual Studio 2010 and C Sharp. So let's open up Visual Studio 2010 and let's create a new project just by going to File, New Project, and we're going to select a Windows Game Project as the type, and we're going to call it tutorial one and this is going to create a skeleton of a game for us now we can even run this right now by just clicking the green arrow up there we're hitting F5 and it's going to just show us a window that's blue nothing in it so it's basic, uh, a basic setup of a game it's like a skeleton that's creating a game loop for us so we can go through and we look at the, the code that was created for us and it's mainly this game one that we're interested in. Um, so you can see over here in Solution Explorer we've got game one.cs and we've got program.cs. Program.cs is our main entry point into the application and we're not really too concerned with that so we're going to close off for right now. Uh, game one has all the stuff that's interesting for us. Um, I'll try and go through a bit about uh, C Sharp right now and try and explain some stuff because I'll probably throw around terms that if you're not familiar with uh, C Sharp or programming, it may not mean anything to you. Okay, let's work our way through the code here and I'll try and explain all the different components that are being displayed and that are uh, entered into the Game 1 class by default. So let's start at the top and work our way down. At the very top, we have uh, using statements. And using statements are basically to include code that uh, is external to your project or external to your current namespace. Um, so if you look at these using statements, we see like all the XNA stuff here. And if we go under Solution Explorer on the right, and there's this uh, section called References. Now you can see things that look awfully similar over there, like uh, we've got like frame, XNA framework. And we've got like graphics and uh, and several different uh, categories that are listed there. And and these references are basically pointing to DLL files. And if you don't know what a DLL file is, it's a dynamic link library. And it's basically a file that just contains some code that someone else has written and has been compiled. And from there, you can basically access that code and use those functions and all the stuff that everyone's created in that for you and, and pull that in to using your application without you having to rewrite it yourself. So the next thing you see is namespace. And namespace is just a, a way to separate different parts of your code. Um, I won't get into too much about namespace right now. I don't use it too much myself. It's probably something I should use more and make your code more readable and that, but I'm just going to skip by that and we'll move on to class. Class is basically a, a way to create an object. So we can see public, class, game one. And when we look at that, uh, public just means that it can be called from uh, anything outside of this project or this uh, namespace and then we see the colon XNA framework game and that means that game one is a uh, is basically inheriting from this uh, framework game and I'm not going to get into inheritance right now because it's a pretty deep uh, concept and, but I'll, uh, I'll try to get to that later and explain what that means um, so under, right under uh, class, we basically have a, uh, a brace, and we had a brace under namespace as well. So these curly braces here are basically what we use to contain different functions or different parts of the, the code. So I can collapse up here in Visual Studio different things with these little minuses here. And if I go all the way to the bottom, or also if I put my cursor to the left hand side of this, you can see it highlights a little bit. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I'll see the corresponding uh, brace highlighted as well. 
So that means those two are, are things. So whenever you have an opening brace, you have to have a closing brace as well. Um, just basically to do that. So I, I can see when I close that up, it's basically the namespace is containing all of the code here. And yeah, so we have the class, same thing for a class and same thing for any different type of functions. We have to have that as well. So right under class, we're going to have our, our member our member variables of the class. So basically what we've got here, we've got a type and then we've got the uh, the actual member itself or the variable itself. So we have a name for that variable. So there's always going to be things like the, the types are usually going to be highlighted and they're going to be blue like that. And then whatever name you assign to that type, like your actual variable, is going to be on black. So we have graphics device manager call and then we're creating that and it's called a graphics. So if we hover over that we can see what it is. And it's basically telling it's a class and then it's going to be located uh, basically as part of our using statements. Uh, Microsoft XNA Frameworks Graphics Device Manager. Mm -hmm. So this class is basically a representation of your uh, is how to interact with your video card and the settings for the video card. And then down below that we have Sprite Patch, which is uh, under the graphics. It's a class under the graphics uh, components. And Sprite Patch is something that we'll get into later. It's basically a way to draw. 2D graphics, two-dimensional graphics to your video or to your to the video card. Um, under that, we have something that's listed as public game one, and then it's uh, open and close bracket. Now, this is a, a type of function, but it's a special type of function or function or method. It's called a constructor, and you can tell it's a constructor because it doesn't have anything listed as a return type. And I'll get into that later, but it, it will basically have the exact same name as your class. So it's called game one, and your class is called game one. And the constructor is basically some code that's called as soon as the class is created to basically set up any type of variables. So we can see that we have graphics in here, and it's being created. It's using the new keyword to create a new graphics device manager. So Right here, we're defining that we want a, uh, a variable called graphics, but here we're actually creating it with this new new uh, keyword. So it's new graphics device manager, and then you have uh, this, and this is a special thing. The this keyword it basically means that we're passing back this instance of the uh, the class. So whatever we're in, so right now we're game one, so we're going to be passing game one into the device manager uh, as an argument. So the next thing we see in the uh, game one constructor is content directory equals content. So if I hover over content, we can see where it's coming from here. So it's basically it, it, it's a content manager game dot content. So I'm going to show you something else that's sort of useful here. If I right click on content, I can say go to definition. So this is going to open up something, but it's it's not going to it's going to show uh, this uh, game from metadata. So this is basically showing us stuff from uh, the XNA framework, which is our, our using statement up here. So you can see that content manager content is a member of the uh, game class. Now you can't see uh, you can't see all the entries in here or whatever. You just get to see like a, an outline of it. But it is useful to go and see where it's coming from. Because like if you're a beginner programmer and you don't know and you just see this content, it's like it's like magic to you. You don't know where it's coming from, what, what's happening or how it was set there. So when you look at that right there, you can see it and see, uh, okay, that's coming from, uh, it's a content manager type, which is a class that's defined within basically uh, the XNA framework uh, content. And it is set up under game. So game one 
is a member or is a uh, inheriting from game. So anything that's uh, in game one, or sorry, in game, we're going to be able to see as long as it's. If I go here and go back and do go to definition, if it's public, like it is here, I'm going to be able to see that. Or if it's uh, protected, those are two different uh, special keywords. And I'll, I'll try and explain those later. But for right now, just know that you can uh, access any anything that's public or protected in game from within uh, the game one class because we're inheriting from it. So those two things are, are, are the only things that are going to be set in the constructor. So the next thing we're going to get into is uh, initialize. So initialize is a, a, a member function, part of the game one. And they call it function, some people call it method. It's just basically it's an operation that is going to be executed that you can call during from the class so it's basically a set of instructions that you have remember variables are places to store stuff I'll delete that uh, functions or, or methods are, are things you use to use those and do things with them so I think what a good the next big thing to do is basically to go through and uh, try and show you how XNA starts up and, and what it's actually doing.